So guys, just before I begin this next video, I just want to let you know I've released a new video on my other channel, Crimecast. So the link is in the description below. So it's a throwback case from about 11, 12 years ago about a taxi driver who goes by the name of Derek Bird. He was a lone gunman and he killed 12 people, including his twin brother and injured 11 others. It's an interesting story, so I think you guys should go check it out. Also, big respect going out to each and every one of you that has already subscribed to that channel. So I believe we're nearly at 1,000, so let's try and get it to 2,000 subscribers. So as I said, the link is in the description below for the video, so please subscribe to that channel. Anyway, on to this video now. A drugs gang who imported more than £165 million worth of cocaine into the UK have been jailed. The Derby-based ringleader Paldeep Manga bought around 100 kilos of the drug from contacts in Dubai using EncroChat. Police said it was then sent across the country with the group at one point making an estimated £400,000 a day. The 21-strong gang was sentenced after multiple trials with Manga being jailed for 18 years and 3 months. He ran the operation from his house in Dali Abbey. Officers said the logistics of moving the drugs was organised by Jaswant Kajla, who also collected the money from the gang's customers. The money was dealt with by the gang's accountant, Manraj Johal, who kept detailed Excel spreadsheets that showed the incomings, outgoings and expenses of the gang. Using another encrypted phone, Johal would then contact the suppliers of the drugs to update them about how much money was being made. The gang had two offices in Luton and Derby, with an estimated £18.6 million being made by the gang between 16th of March and 30th of April, police said. The Derby office was run by Manveer Singh, who would sort bundles of cash, assigning an individual token number to each before giving them to couriers for distribution. Officers believe the gang's total earnings over the 408-day conspiracy to be over £165 million. Derbyshire police said they were already investigating the gang when detectives were supplied with further evidence after the secure EncroChat phone system the gang were using was taken down. As we know, the system which was being used by criminals across the world was infiltrated by law enforcement in Europe, who then passed the information to UK authorities. Police then intercepted seven kilos of cocaine being transported in Derby in April 2020. The extent of the cash being turned over was shown in June 2020 when officers found money counter Nimrat Bayer midway through bundling £530,000 at a London apartment. DCI Tim Walters that led the investigation said it was huge. We saw bags of thousands of pounds being handed over on street corners. We saw whole loads of cash being transported in taxis. They were using both residential and business properties as banks, which would hold between one to two million pounds at a time. And it's believed that some of the gang went to Dubai where they mixed with people who were further up the chain and they spent £37,000 in one evening at a nightclub. DCI Tim Walters led the investigation said this was a massive undertaking by a very skilled and determined investigation team to dismantle a gang which was responsible for the industrial scale wholesale supply of cocaine across the country along with movements of millions of pounds of criminal cash each week. While the gang's use of a token system to monitor their cash flow and the encrypted EncroChat handsets to coordinate their business showed a level of sophistication, they merely acted as a breadcrumb trail for us to see the scale of this business and identify each member of the organised crime group as well as every sale that they had made. The hefty sentences given are not only a testament to an impressive regional investigation but also to the power of collaborative law enforcement on a national and international scale. And we're not finished yet. They also went on to say, through a proceeds of crime act, we will now seek to identify and seize any assets amounted from the running of this enterprise to ensure those responsible are not only stripped of their freedom, but also any profits made through their criminal activities. Absolute madness, guys. The figures quoted making an average of over £400,000 a day and in total in the space of just over a year, making £165 million. So Paldit Manga, he was the first to be sentenced and he was given a prison term of 18 years and 3 months. There was Manveer Kak and he ran the Derby office of the money laundering conspiracy. According to Judge Bennett, without his role, the Derby side of the business would not have been run effectively and he has been handed a 13-year jail sentence. 
Ranjit Sadhu. He was jailed for nine years and three months and he moved large shipments of drugs on a regular basis, the judge said. Bashrat Iqbal, he was a Derby taxi driver turned drug courier and Iqbal transported cocaine by the kilo and cash in the hundreds of thousands on a regular basis, according to the judge. And he's been sentenced to seven years and nine months behind bars. Prosecutors told the court in December that he ferried multiple kilograms of cocaine and hundreds of thousand pounds of cash between North London, Luton and Derby and he was found to have had four kilos of cocaine on his person and three kilos in a wardrobe when police conducted a search. It was Banras Iqbal and he was the younger brother of Bashras Iqbal and he's from Derby and he moved hundreds of thousands of pounds of money around the city on 12 different occasions and was paid £250 per trip. He was sentenced to four years and nine months. There was John Castledin, and he was the oldest member of the group, the 63-year-old responsible for collecting, counting and passing on money collected from customers to those further up the chain in command. Castledin had learning difficulties and was a trusted member and he was jailed for seven years and three months. Then there's Joseph Davidson. He's a 41-year-old and he couriered wholesale quantities of cocaine and heroin. He was jailed for 10 years and two months for his role in the conspiracy. Nathaniel Connymore, the 39-year-old, was sentenced to seven years and seven months. He sourced five kilos of cocaine from the conspiracy but was not involved in any heroin dealing. Mohammed Shafiq, he took his case to trial, so unlike the other defendants, he did not get any credit for his early guilty plea. As a result, he was jailed for 12 years. In his role as a wholesale customer, he had previously served five in prison for other drugs offences. Michael Karim, he was described as a wholesale customer and he bought nine kilos of cocaine from other gang members. He was jailed for 10 years. You got Mr. Williamson from Nottingham, who was another wholesale customer, who undoubtedly had an awareness of the scale of the conspiracy according to the judge, and he was sentenced to five years and three months in prison. Jaswant Kajla, the 41-year-old, played a senior role in both conspiracies and was jailed for 15 years and three months. Manraj Johal, he was the chief money man, who played a pivotal role in the drugs conspiracy according to the judge. Johal from Luton was sentenced to 15 years and 8 months. The prosecutor said the evidence was gathered that Johal liaised with the suppliers of the Class A drugs in Dubai. Manra Johal marvelled at how those upstream moved 1 million a week and spent £37,000 in a nightclub on one Thursday night in Dubai. Nimrat Bayer, he was a cousin of the co-defendant Manra Johal and he was sentenced to 7 years and 1 month in prison for his role. He moved money as well as counting it. Shaimai Connell, he owned a courier business and he arranged for one kilo of heroin to be bought to Derby and was the key man in moving drugs between Luton and Coventry according to the judge. He was sentenced to seven years and nine months in prison. You got Marvin Johnson, he was the final defendant to be sentenced on Friday for his role in the conspiracy. He also took his case to trial so he received no credit for an earlier guilty plea and he was jailed for 11 years and six months. So guys, what do you think to that? A gang who smuggled £165 million of cocaine to the UK from Dubai are jailed for a total of 167 years after being caught through EncroChat. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.